Welcome everybody to the January Main Fiddle Camp Old Time Variety Show. I'm Camp Director Doug Protzik, your host, and I'm going to introduce my co-host right now, Glenn Loper. Hey, that's me. <laughs> really glad to be here, man. Excited for a new year. We've got a new show, Great Acts, but you know what I'm really excited about, Doug? What's that? The first bad jokes of 2022. <laughs> oh, bad jokes, we promised people. Well, guess yeah. what? Grandma's been staring through the window ever since it started to snow. Oh. I'm telling you, if it gets any worse, I'll have to let her in. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Oh, hey, Doug, uh, what do you call somebody whose name is Stephen, who was born on December 31st? I have no idea. New Year's Steve. Oh, <laughs> that one goes out to Steve well, Muse. Yeah. Oh, well, well, what do you get when you cross a snowman with a vampire? Uh, I don't know. Frostbite. Ooh, uh, that, yeah. Right. Uh, hey, speaking of snowmen, uh, who's Frosty's favorite aunt? Frosty's favorite aunt. Yeah. Give up. Antarctica. Oh, well, what do yeah. snowmen eat for breakfast? <laughs> Uh, 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 cinnamon buns? I don't know. No, no, no. Frosted flakes. Ah, I got one more for you. Oh, what do you boy. call 10 Arctic rabbits hopping backwards through the snow together? I give up. A receding hairline. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. I can't take any more. I tell yeah, you what, I think there. it's time, time to move on with the show. And we've got some wonderful music to start with. Eric Favreau and Owen Marshall in playing some beautiful music. Can't wait.
was okay. That was pretty good too. Yes. Just a couple good moments in there. Wow. You know, I love every time they get together to do something at the variety show. The music is always just so good. Oh, yes. And Eric loves coming to Maine Fiddle Camp. He has for many years. He's a great teacher. He's teaching at our virtual Maine Fiddle Camp right now. And uh, But he also has a wonderful sense of humor. So here's a <laughs> recording from Maine Fiddle Camp a few years back and an old-time variety show skit featuring Eric Favreau. Nice. Okay, thank you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much. Okay, for the next step, I need, I invite four wonderful musicians to play with me. Okay, I need, I have to Steve, Doug, Rochelle, and Owen. Without the instruments. Oh, good. <laughs> I think, okay, if you stand up, everybody. Salad, Oh, Oh, I love salad. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Just my color. Okay, and you see, you like rice? Wait. I hope. Mm -hmm. Just this week, maybe. Yeah, lots of rice. Lots of rice. Yes. Okay, rice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and for you, for you, for you, because you are little. <laughs> I have one. <laughs> okay, just to be sure it's okay for everybody. No, the other side, see? Okay. Yeah. Imagination, okay, perfect. <laughs> okay. I will play a tune for you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
The older the clip, the younger everyone looks. And it's not the size of your spoons, it's how hard you can hit them against your head. <laughs> well, thanks, guys. That was very educational. Next up, Pam Weeks, Bill Olson, and Jim Joseph have a song about a strange New England catastrophe that might make you think differently about something you might casually drizzle on your beans or cornbread. Take it away, Tiakadee! Hi, everybody. We are going to sing a song about the Great Molasses Flood of 1917 in Boston. It was written by Tom Rowe. Oh, the African man cuts the sugar cane. Oh, molasses. He works in the sun and he works in the rain. Oh, molasses rum. Then he loads it up on a great big ship and, and he, he sends, sends it off on a northern trip. Singing, oh, molasses, oh, molasses rum, oh, molasses, old New England tea. It killed my grandpa, killed my pa, and it sure as hell is killing me. Singing, oh, molasses, oh, molasses rum. When they fought the war in the colonies, oh, molasses. They fought it over New England tea. Oh, molasses, molasses rum. When old King George put a tax on it, the, the colonies, colonies nearly took a fit. Singing, oh, molasses, oh, molasses, oh, molasses rum. Oh, molasses, oh, molasses, old New England tea. It killed my grandpa, killed my pa, and it sure as hell is killing me. Singing, oh, molasses, oh, molasses rum. 
in the time of the 1917 war. Oh, molasses! Molasses sitting on the Boston shore. Oh, molasses rum! When they pumped it in, it was 12 degrees. A long cold night in a Boston freeze. Singing, oh, molasses! Oh, molasses rum! In the morning, it was 42. Oh, molasses! Molasses fat split clean in two. Oh, molasses rum. Two million gallons covered the bay. Twenty-six people died in the flood that day. Singing, oh, molasses, old molasses rum. Oh, molasses, old New England tea. It killed my grandpa, killed my pa, and it sure as hell is killing me. Singing, oh, molasses, oh, molasses rum. My grandpa, he died cutting cane. Oh, molasses. My pa went down in a great brown rain of oh, molasses, molasses rum. But I won't die in a pool of blood. No, no I, I won't drown in a blackstrap black flood. Still, I'll go down to molasses. Oh, molasses rum. Oh, molasses. Old New England tea. It killed my grandpa, killed my pa, and it sure as hell is killing me. Singing, oh, molasses, oh, molasses rum. Oh, molasses, oh, molasses rum. Oh, molasses, oh, molasses rum. Great song. Man, what a weird story. Can you imagine two million gallons of molasses coming at you? <laughs> well, thanks to Yaki D. Uh, next up, it's always a fun time when Steve Muse and the Franklin County Fiddlers get together. Steve put together a virtual ensemble video with current members and alumni to make a red hot arrangement of the tune Red Haired Boy. Prepare to get groovy. One, two, three, and... <laughs>
Franklin County Fiddlers. Hey, and it's the New Year's Steve I told you about at the beginning of the show. <laughs> uh, that's great. Hey, Doug, what's up next? Well, we're going to feature one of the most incredible Maine fiddle campers and volunteers over the years, Rick Fitzsimmons, in a wonderful oh, yeah. performance at the Wallow County Fiddlers Showcase a few years back. Take it away, Rick. At Maine Fiddle Camp, uh, we not only have the Maine tradition, but we also have French and Atlantic Canada. And uh, Eric Favreau, who's a regular instructor at Maine Fiddle Camp, is a fabulous fiddler and, and a keeper of the traditional flame uh, from a, a, com, coming from Quebec. And uh, he taught this tune in a, well, about a 45 minute workshop at Maine Fiddle Camp this last year. And uh, later that day, we performed this tune to the camp, sort of in a situation like this with about half as many people. Uh, and we had five cloggers in front of us. Um, and this is actually what's called a waltz clog. Um, it's a waltz time, but it's a little bit faster. Um, and the traditional dance in Quebec is, uh, is a clog. So this is uh, a waltz clock. clog man that, that one goes back a ways doesn't it doug but it does indeed yeah but yeah, i've heard i've heard you've got a, a machine that can not just go back you can go way back i do you do well can you tell us about it can you show us the machine hey glenn well the first thing i want to do is put on the way back machine goggles ah oh, there we go that's great oh boy and now <laughs> This is the caroling group known as Timbrel, and they're going to sing a couple of uh, traditional carols for us. Go right ahead. Thank you. I'd like to sing a folk carol from Cornwall, England for you now, entitled, Sound, Sound, Your Instruments of Joy. Sound, sound, your instruments of joy. Sound, sound, your instruments of joy. Sound, your instruments of joy. Sound, sound, your instruments of joy. Shake each string to triumph, shake each string. Let shouts of universal joy, universal joy. Welcome, 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 the newborn. See, see the gladdening dawn appear.
That Wayback Machine is really cooking. I, I got to get me some of those goggles you had there, Doug. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, uh, winter is great, but sometimes I, I have a hard time with it. You know, I, it's dark. This morning, I, I slipped on some black ice in my driveway. How, how are you doing, Doug? How do you deal with winter? Well, I have a good time at winter, but you know, up in Canada, they really know how to have fun with winter. Let me show you right now. Attention, mesdames et messieurs, on va se coller une contre dans dehors. On se place une ligne d'homme en face d'une ligne de femme. Merci. Jean de côté est remis chez vous, de l'autre côté est remis chez vous. Au prochain droit d'un dos complet, au prochain droit d'un dos complet. Jean de côté est revenu, crochet gauche, au crochet gauche, de l'autre côté, remis chez vous. Attention, le premier coup, le premier coup, on descend au milieu. Joël et Diane, vous descendez jusqu'à l'arrière, mais vous êtes seulement le premier. Au départ, en avant, puis vous remontez. Tout le monde, regardez vers le chalet. Wow, that's fantastic. Those guys really get around. Does this mean we're going to have to build a, a, a dance skating rink at Pilgrim Lodge now, Doug? Well, not really, but now that you mention it, I met with Ranger Paul out at Pilgrim Lodge recently so he could inspect it for us, and this is what we came up with. Oh, who's that stomping through the woods? Hey, look at there! It's Ranger Paul! Hey, so Ranger good. Paul! So good to see you. Oh, thank you for coming out and inspecting Pilgrim Lodge for us here in the middle of the winter. Oh, this is going to be terrific. Great! Well, what do you say? Let's go! Let's go! Doug, you better come over here and see what I found. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this! This is a giant snowshoe hair. Oh, my word. Yes, I buy. That is Jeez. rare. They're only known to be four in existence. 
I think we got him. Oh, he's headed right him. this way, right into the camp here from the main gate. One there. Oh, yeah. He come through here. Look at that. Oh, come through here. This oh. new snowfall is so great for seeing animal tracks. And come up against this tree. Oh, isn't this curious? He's got one footprint here. Another one here on this side of the tree. My goodness, Doug, can you come on in here and look at this? He comes right over this tree. How did he do? What a hopper. Oh my goodness. Golly, Doug. You know, it's about three quarters of a mile down through here. Oh, oh, whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Doug. These wild turkeys common out here. You can see the three. You can see his three toes. You betcha. Now he's dragging his toenails. Yes, they're hysterical. You know, Ben Franklin thought the turkey ought to be the national bird. Because they're edible and they seem to be sensible. They are great birds. Yeah, but we went with a bald eagle for some reason. What we got here? Well, Auntie Zelda used to live up in this area and she had a poodle. And that was back in the day when you could let your dog run at large. Nobody had a problem with it. Well, that poodle never came home. And story is that he took up with some coyotes. And now the interbred and you got poodle yokes. And you can tell by the fuzzy balls around the footprints here. Oh no, poodle yokes. Well, Paul, as we came in here on the entrance road, we come right away here to some of the basic camping area. We've got a fire pit. And then over here, across the way, a, a nice bit of woods. And uh, well, back in there, we even have our main fiddle camp cabins. All right, so we've got Simon St. Pierre cabin on the left and Melly Dunham on the right. is where RV and car camping can be done, similar to the way we did it at Camp Neofa by the ball field. Yes, now here we have the new main lodge with a fabulous dining hall on the inside, state-of-the-art kitchen, and Ranger Paul, look at all the great jamming areas on the uh, covered wraparound porch. I can just imagine all the wonderful music coming from there. Isn't that kind of? Yeah, here we've got the back of the main lodge and this is where we can have a bit of an outdoor kitchen just like at the original main fiddle camp. Now from here at Ranger Paul, we've got the amphitheater coming right off the main lodge and facing the lake. Is that beautiful or what? Isn't that something? We've got benches and a stage Oh man, can you just imagine playing music here? something. This is Compass County Lake. She's over 5,000 acres. That compares to Trues Pond which is about 150 on a good day when she's full. And I know how big the monster was in Trues Pond and I do know that the size of the monster is proportional to the size of the lake. I haven't found nothing yet. We'll see. I'll get on it. Don't you worry.
Now, Ranger Paul, look at these wonderful cabins here right on the lake with really nice jamming areas right in front of them. And also jamming space in the uh, screen porches that each cabin has, along with uh, their own bathrooms and electricity. And there's over 15 cabins available. We can probably uh, do quite a few more people in cabins than we did uh, at the old camp. Probably anybody who wants one. Probably anybody who wants one. Nice? Jeepers creepers, Doug, it's getting cold. Ooh, it is. I think I'll start a fire with these sticks. Good idea, Ranger Paul. Start a fire with those sticks. And I just want to invite everybody to join us here at Main Fiddle Camp in the summer. Uh, it's beautiful in the winter, but it's even nicer in the summer. Come join us with cabins right on the water, uh, with a wonderful dining hall and, and state-of-the-art kitchen with great camping and RVing, and of course the most important part, the wonderful people and music that happens at Main Fiddle Camp. Something for everybody, people of all ages, all levels of ability, in all kinds of acoustical instruments, enjoying nature and swimming and learning all together in a multi-generational camp. Now there's nothing like Main Fiddle Camp, twice the program at half the price. Hey, Doug. Yeah, how, what? How many hot dogs do you want? Oh, how about a half a dozen? You got it. Ah, yes. Whew. Oh, that feels good, Ranger Paul. I think that if you had June Phil Camp up here, it would just be a spectacular event. Oh, that was great. Thank you so much, Thank Ranger you. Paul. Thank you very much, Doug. It's been a pleasure. All right, nicely done, gentlemen. I feel so much better knowing that Ranger Paul and Doug are on the case, I think. <laughs> well, Pilgrim Lodge sure looked beautiful in the snow. It got us feeling a little poetic over here. So please join us for a special reading on the subject of winter from three highly respected academics in the field of English literature. Presenting the Wing Sisters with a dramatic reading. I made myself a snowball, as perfect as could be. I thought I'd keep it as a pet and let it sleep with me. I made it some pajamas and a pillow for its head. But one night it... Um, it last ran, night, last night, night it, it ran, ran away. But first, it wet the bed. There you have it. Brava! What a story! What a twist at the end! Truly spellbinding. A big thanks to the Wing Sisters for that command performance. Coming up next, Jennifer Armstrong, who's been teaching Clawheimer banjo to the Thumbingbirds here at camp has a great song for us with an interesting history and some unusual accompaniment. Here's Jennifer. Hello, friends. Welcome to Simple Gifts. Today I want to share with you a wonderful new sound I'm working with. It's an instrument called the Shruti Box. And uh, this is called the Low G Shruti Box. And I wanted to sing Pibrock with it. Pibrock is how the Great Highland Bagpipe classical music for that instrument is taught, and it's taught by a musical um, notation. So if I sing, Hey, Harin, he, hyo, and dum, in something called countrock, another piper will know exactly what to play, a G grace note on E, down to a burl. So all the, the information is given in the words of the vocal uh, melody. So I just wanted to sing Pibrock with a shruti box, and now I am. So I'm happy to share this with you. I'll share the theme called The Ground of a piece called The Glen is Mine on this beautiful May day here in Maine. 
um, our farm is feeling like that glen, that glen is mine. It's a celebratory pibroch rather than one of the great laments. So here it is. Dreyodo, Dreyohan, Dreyodo, Dreyohyo, Veheyohe, Breyohan, Dreyodo. Thanks, Jennifer. That's beautiful. Uh, but I'm going to admit, when you announced the title, The Glen is Mine, I thought, that's a little bossy. Uh, hey, how about another big fiddle group? Ellen Goller and the Pineland Fiddlers have another great set of tunes for us, featuring two Frank Farrell compositions, uh, Down North and the Vaccination Reel, sounds a little recent, uh, followed by the always fabulous St. Anne's Reel. Uh, ben Foss is accompanying them on guitar, and uh, has anyone seen Frank Farrell? He's often a teacher here at Maine Fiddle Camp. It'd be great if you could see this now. Oh well. Hey, Pineland Fiddlers, let it rip!
right, Pineland Fiddlers, Ellen Goller with Frank Farrell. Oh boy, I hope we can get Frank to do some specialty workshops in some of the future virtual main fiddle camps coming up. Absolutely, yeah, we've got plenty more virtual main fiddle camps coming up, uh, another five. Uh, the next one's on February 12th. Great round of workshops to look forward to. Uh, we're going to do a virtual variety show for all those, too. So if you've got an act, uh, a song, a tune, anything, uh, send it in, and, and we'll work it into the shows. And now, Glenn, uh, I've, uh, I'd like to mention the passing of Ben Gilmet, an iconic Maine fiddler who passed away a couple weeks ago at age 94. Uh, he came to Maine Fiddle Camp many times. He loved being part of Maine Fiddle Camp. Uh, he was an amazingly intense individual and championship fiddler. Uh, and most amazingly, he was uh, taught his grandsons the fiddling tradition to keep the tradition alive in his latter years. Uh, became a, a, a fiddle maker as well. And uh, so now here's uh, a clip we put together uh, to honor Ben Gilmet. When did you start playing the fiddle then? Uh, I was 12 years old. Uh, I guess all the French Canadians had some fiddling, you know, right. in the family somewhere. Well, I wasn't feeling good. I was, you know, a lot of pressure, you know, from my work. And the doctor told me, he says, a, a fiddle, you know, it's like a fiddle. If you take the string, you wind it up real tight, he says, it'll break, you know. I says, I play fiddle. He says, you know, he says, well, he says, why don't you take it up? He says, uh, be good for you. Make you forget, you know, uh, forget your work after you get home. So I did that. I started to scratch up a little bit. I like to play at dances uh, when people are having a good time, you know. That's, that's what it's for, you know. Because uh, when you're playing, they're all sitting there. It's not that big a deal, but when you're playing, they're all dancing. Then it's serving a, the purpose that it's meant to be, you know. What'd you do to get such strong muscles? You, were you ever a lumberjack or something? Or? No, I'm a... <laughs> no, I mean, really, you're pretty... No, I was a farmer. A farmer? I was uh -huh. a farmer. A farmer. Worked pretty hard on the farm. Yeah. There was a lot of rocks on the farm, you know. And we cleaned up the fields, you know. And some of those rocks are pretty heavy. the same as I am in, in that, uh, we didn't just learn to play music, uh, uh, you know, to go play in a contest and to win a prize. We learned to play music to make people dance. It was so heartwarming and appropriate when I arrived at Ben's funeral to hear all three grandsons playing fiddle in his honor. That's that's great. I remember Ben coming to camp and uh, 
and playing with Joanne's dad there, Toots, on the piano. That was that was a special time. Oh, a, Toots Butat, indeed. We had their reunion at Main Fiddle Camp after they're being separated for decades, and that was a magical moment. Uh, but uh, it's my misfortune to have to announce another passing of a Main Fiddle Camp family member. David Surrett, who taught mandolin and guitar at Main Fiddle Camp for years, passed away this December. Uh, right. Uh, David was well loved by many staff and campers at Main Fiddle Camp. Uh, David was the best, one of the finest musicians, a patient and inspiring teacher, and uh, all around just one of the kindest people you've ever met. And our thoughts are with his family, Susie Burke and his daughters, Issa and Juliana. Um, we've put together a few short clips that remind us of how he was getting to jump on stage with anyone at camp uh, and of the easy, generous way he would share his music in class. So we'll play those. And I think we're going to end right after that with going right into a lullaby by S Stephen Weiss. So thank you, everybody, for being part of and enjoying our variety show. And uh, here we go with a clip about David. Take care. I'm saving my love for you. I know for certain no one I love. I'm through with flirting, it's you that I'm dreaming of. And it's my name and I'm saving my love. Sailors, he sailed away to the frozen ocean in the month of May to seek a passage around the pole where we poor sailors sometimes go. Franklin, I would cross the main. Ten thousand pounds would I freely give to say on earth, my Franklin does live. 